Dr. Stephen Pinkston. I'm at the Lansdowne Veterinary Clinic and Dental Center. And today we're going to talk about weight. Uh, especially around the holidays, not one of our favorite subjects, but weight and appro appropriate weight is really important. So we're going to define exactly what that means. Trey has volunteered to be our subject this afternoon. and. Here's how we determine appropriate weight or body proportion. It's an individual thing. And here's the way we do it. Very simply, from the top of our shoulders here to the top of our hips, we don't want him so thin that we can see the top of his spine, but we want to very easily feel it. Just as we stroke him with the amount of pressure we would, uh, we would put on him just as we're petting him, we want to barely feel the top of his back there. It ought to feel much like this. You ought to feel bum, 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 all the way down his back. So, just to review, here are the guidelines we want to stay within. From shoulders to hips, we do want to be able to easily feel his back bone. We don't want to be able to see it. And if we're having to use our fingertips to hunt for it, this, our patient is overweight. Now, the reason that's important is we know that there's two things that have a huge impact on influencing how long our dogs will live and how healthy they'll be. One of them is keeping them at an ideal body proportion, an ideal weight, and the other one is taking really good care of their mouths to make sure there's not any infection in there. So if, if you have any questions about your dog's body proportion, uh, that's part of every exam we do is we actually assign them a body score and that's simply to reflect uh, where they stand right now and also the trend whether they uh, where they've come from and if we need to adjust that but really important because it helps us keep these guys as part of our family a lot longer.